Alrighty, turn 93, March 9th, 1942. Let's see what kind of damage we could do to Helsin. Oh, dud, dud torpedo. Nice. Because that guy's carrying troops. Oh, come on. Get him. Get him. Actually, I don't care. Well, yep, we're going to attack. Type 95 suck, but in shallow water, they might damage them. There's a damage. But really, all these guys need to do is not be not be sunk, so they can deliver their supplies. All right, we got we got a hit on K K twelve. Hey now, these guys are a little better. There's another damage. Another one. That's two. And we're out of ammo. Nice. Oh, these guys just need to survive till they convert to E-Class in, like, January 43. These E-Class ships kick ass for ASW. What is this? The Allied, Allied Turn? Oh, we're after K-12 again. We've got three hits on it before. Oh, there we go. Damage torpedo tubes. Damage to his engines. Another damage to the engine. Nice. Won't sink him, but that should definitely send him back down to Silver Baja for repairs. Alright, landing at Beng Bengkalis. I want that oil. Come on, man! It's like the Allied—they—they they get all the attacks, we get nothing. Oh, that's a sunk ship. Hopefully, that one's heading home and not full of troops. Nope, full of troops. And there he went. Oh, that's from the base force too. Damn it! ton of allied subs around. I'm gonna need to find, figure out where to go that he doesn't have, you know, f half a dozen subs there. Oh, here we go. He has friends. These are carrier planes, the Martlets. All right, are we gonna actually win an air-to-air -air fight against the uh, allies? Knocking on wood here.
Surprised that he brought aircraft down here, knowing I could take the base. And all whatever's whatever's there could be lost. Well, it, maybe he's just flying long range. Maybe that's what this is. I should be able to tell once the combat's over and look at the combat uh, log. I believe I have a bunch of bombers coming in here as well. The only problem with this fight is everyone we lose is most likely a lost pilot because we're over an enemy base. And plus we have to fly home and his planes just have to land if, if they're damaged. Now we're the outnumbered. All right, let's just get out of there, guys. I know it goes like this, but I think the whole combat supposedly takes place at one time. So now that we're outnumbered, I don't think it, I don't. I'm not sure it matters that much. I think it's the initial numbers. So 40 zeros versus 30, 50 enemy caps. Supposedly we lost six and he lost nine. Let's see. Oh, that's the AVG. Yeah, I think he had long range on here. But, all right. not bad for being outnumbered I believe we have more fighters coming in but we'll see if they get there before the bombers all right bombing Chinese troops bombing more Chinese troops up oh, here's my bombers Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. We're going to lose some bombers here.
Come on, guys. Hang in there. Ah, uh, a couple more came up. All right. Get him, bomb him good. And Sally's were, if we had Helen's, they'd probably get through there without being caught because it's a lot faster. But these Sally's just aren't. Alright, now we get the second wave. Alright, since we lost 11, it's probably more like 20. But we did hit the airfield. 16 hits. Alright. Yeah, and of course, all the bombers are coming in now without the fighters. There. Where's my other fighters? Hey, we're gonna bomb Clark Airfield now. Keeping the pressure on here. Wow, that was pretty poor showing. Although it is severe storms. That's a little better showing. Aha! Get them, boys! Alright, so far we've killed two, damaged a bunch, killed three. Maybe they'll crash on the way home. Oh wow! Now we know why he has he had fighters here. I'm glad I brought all that AA with me. Look at all those damages. I like it. I got like four or five regiments of uh, AA with this group. Yeah, look at that. Not much damage. We did a lot of damage to them. Nice. Who'd they actually target? Oh, one of the AA units. Nice. Alright, come on, Zeros. Get these guys. The uh, problem is, missiles are a little bit easier, harder to kill than uh, Catalinas, as you can see. We're taking damage. We got two. Three. But we're taking a lot of damage back. Uh, 
Yep. Uh, they were attacking the port. Okay. Alright, that's the AM phase. I thought I had more fighters sweeping uh, Rangoon, but obviously not. Bad weather again. Here we go, there's some. More P-40s keep coming up. Says we lost three and killed four. All right, that's the air phase. It'll be interesting to see the actual the actual losses in the after action report. Yeah, I didn't think that guy would make it, but hey, had to try, right? Alright, landing that late late time. We wanted to do a couple turns ago, but had some issues. combat here and right, we got about 600 uh, about 600 650 assault against 50 I don't know if we'll wipe these guys out or not but we shouldn't may do some we shouldn't inflict some pretty good sort of damage on them three to one's all we got Wow Yep, first Burma division and the fifth Chinese Corps. All right, six, seven, eight, about nine hundred assault strength here. Those tanks are not here yet, but definitely, I can't tell if he's bringing them in or not. He might just leave them there so they have a have an escape route. Bombardment at Clark, standard. Right. Deliberate 
attack at Port Blair. We should take this. That should surrender. Yep. All right. 290 men. <coughs> All right, that's it. We'll build some facilities, then we'll go through production. When that's done, I'll pause the video. I'll grab some saves, grab some data. We'll come back and we'll go over the turn. We got some action this turn, and we'll see how the air battle over Rangoon went. Alrighty, well, a little bit of excitement this turn. We'll get to that in a few. Let's go in and look at some stats here. Score-wise, we went up 132 points. The Allies went up 55. In the air, let's see, 30, 40, Allies lost 42 planes. We lost 42 planes. Alright, let's go take a look at them. Alright, we lost 24 zeros. 18, 18 Sallies, he lost 12 Warhawks, 12 Hurricanes, 6 Martlets, he also lost 5 B-25s, 4 Catalinas, 3 B-17s, a PBY-4, and a B-17-D. Alright, so that uh, all that AA up there did definitely help. It claimed 1, 4, we, we, we shot down 4 B-17s with our AA at the, at the Rangoon. All right, so we lost 42 aircraft. Let's see how bad the, the pilot losses are going to be. Horrendous. Let's see. Oh, not too bad. 16 confirmed killed, 12 missing. All right, some of the missing might 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 show up. And overall, that's not too bad. I'm going to hop back in here. So we lost 24 planes air-to-air. -air. We killed 24. We killed 30 in air-to-air. -air. Over uh, over Rangoon. I want to say necessarily killed, but let's see. We lost we we lost eighteen direct. He lost sixteen twenty three. So yeah, we definitely won that air air fight. But unfortunately, our bombers blundered into his cap because our second wave of zeros decided not to play until the afternoon, and that cost us eighteen sallies. Which, sadly, we can replace. The 24 zeros are a little bit hard to replace. We're kind of low on zeros at the moment. Uh, due to the losses over Mole Mean last time. Now it's over Rang Rang Rangoon. But, all right. Incoming air groups for us. Five days. We get some most likely restricted nates and some, and some unrestricted sallies. Sunk ships. Let's see. A couple ships went down last turn, didn't they? Yep, that LSD that was damaged at Dilly sunk on the way out of there. And we lost one near Victoria Point lo loaded with some uh, Base Force people. So that's not good there. Ship availability, we got the Junio in 54 days, the Unio in 82, then the smattering of other ships between them. On the ground, three days to a, ba to a reg artillery regiment, four days to a Base Force, five days to a Headquarters, Anti-tank guns, naval guard units. So five days is our next big, uh, big uh, payday. Let's see, let's go ahead and down into production. Our engines and aircraft. Let's see, 15, 26, 38, 40 engines. Let's see, three Sallies, three Zeros, two Oscars, and one of the other ones that we're producing. And devices. Let's see, 120 infantry squads, 83 engineers, 49 AV, 40 motorized support. That's where my uh, um, vehicle points went. 38 support. Let's go down here. I want to see where we're at on Type 3 tanks. Well, we should have produced some. Why do we not produce any? Oh, there they are. I, want, I missed, walked, went right by them. Type 3 produced 11 of them this turn, giving us 26 in, in the pool. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and pull up Combat Reporter. We'll hop in here. All right, there's a ton of sub-action at night. 
at Victoria Point. Did not end well for us. K K uh, seventeen came came out of nowhere, put three torpedoes out of four into a troop laden AK, and 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 she sunk. Down by Rennell, we we found a, uh, or another enemy sub found us. Fire torpedoes missed, which is good because that PB has troops. At Luganville, several attacks by the same sub. Silver sides attacking our destroyer here, which is escorting more troops here. I tried several times, fired four torpedoes, missed with all four of them. We bombed some back, but didn't really do any damage. And then down here in Java, K-12. Let's see, we got a couple hits on her. There's one there, there's two there, there's three more. Um, none of them were really direct hits, just damages. We damaged their engines, I believe, twice. Their torpedo tubes at least once, along with some normal damage. So that, that guy's probably going home for repairs. On the ground, we bombarded at Rang Rangoon, just to see what all was there. At Port Blair, we captured the base, and the unit there surrendered. Hang Chow, we attacked, them, but only got 3 to 1 odds. Um, but so we lost 300 some casualties, mostly disabled. He lost 500, mostly destroyed. And at Clark, we bombarded for with fairly even losses on both sides. Amphibious wise, we landed at uh, at um, at, at at Medan, Latem, and Bencalis. In the air. There was mostly me bombing, but there was some Allied action. Um, here's the uh, Allied attack at Rangoon, bombing my troops there. You can see they brought, what's that, 66 B-17, 7 Liberators, some aircraft flying escort. Or I think that's just long-range cap, um, which we, we damaged the hell out of them. And we suffered very few losses. When I checked the units, hopefully there wasn't much disab disablement in, in like the guns and stuff. And that'll maintain this firepower. And I think a lot of these planes were damaged and they weren't lost. But that means you're going to be sitting on the airfields for a couple of days repairing. Over Rangoon, we swept with 40 zeros. At first, we ran into a bunch of different enemy, fi enemy fighters. Um... We proceeded between these and the other sweep, sweep, sweeping missions. Uh, we got the better of, of it. So, we came in, swept them, did some good damage to them. Came in again with the, with the, with the remnants. And then in the afternoon, we came... Uh, that's in that, oh, that's right. In the, this is the... Bombers run that came in there. 94 bombers ran right into about half the cap that was still there, and we got mauled. And then in the afternoon, the rest of our fighters, that, that's more bombers. There they are. There's the other unit of, there's the other Sentea fighters coming in. Did another job of killing fighters, but. So. Let's see, interesting. It doesn't say what my altitude is on this strike. Or on this one. But this last one, it shows that I was sweeping at 20,000. Interesting. Which is our, which is the, which is the cap that we have set for, for this time frame. The Dilly, he also tried to bomb my ships there. I had some Zeros flying cover. We caught the Catalinas and destroyed several of them. The B-25s came in. We killed several of those. And then we bombed some. We bombed Clark. We bombed Rangoon Airfield. And we bombed some, some Chinese troops as well. Signet report. Let's see. We got 28,4. Okay, that's off map. Kota, Terrican, Sydney, Pearl, Colombo. All right. And ops report. A bunch of aircraft, a bunch of zeros written off. 
And more units up upgrading. All right, Garrison's upgraded that truck. Some, some of them changed their name. Some of the Marine units changed their names to become Naval Garrison units so they can combine with the port units we just got and form a, form a large base, base special base force with inherent uh, CCD guns. Some troops lost in landing. Task forces being spotted by enemy aircraft. Some marine information. Us spotting enemy enemy ships. Replacements. We got a Glenn and two Babs still in the pipeline. A destroyer is fully repaired at, at Singapore. All right, we got four confirmed kills on our pilots. There may be more. I'm not sure if they do. I don't, I'm not sure if they show the, when, you get, when they get their first kill. I think it's only two and up. A couple planes down for maintenance. We lost an AK. We captured two bases. Port Blair, un, we attacked. And Merrick, we got for free. Intel is pretty split. Sapporo, Taiwan, Singapore, and Shortlands is us. These other ones are the Allies. You can see they, they built a lot of airfields. Air so that's where I think where a lot of their points are coming coming from. And damage damage aircraft. All right, let's go off. Pop out of there. Come back. We'll go around the map. All right. So Burma, we are sitting in here with three divisions. Let's see. Not really beat up from the from from the heavy air raid. We do have some damaged units from the from those air attacks, but we they will recover. All right, now we just need to decide whether we bombard again or we actually do a flat out attack. Guys at uh, Pegu are still moving. I can't tell if. This unit's moving or not. But let's see, he moved fighters down to to Tang to the uh, uh, I can't talk now. Tungu. And bulk of his fighters are still up at Lashio. Along as a bunch of bombers there now too. We have another uh, the Thailand division right here. And we should be, yep, we got about a, well, we got a guards regiment unloaded and part of a division. Come on, why is that all that's unloaded? All right. Hey, right, yeah, these, we lost one of these guys with a part of a air, with a part of a base force on it. He's got to unload the supplies. We took Port Blair. We'll load back up and head elsewhere. We landed at, at Medan. We will take that, add, add that oil to us. We will take Bencalas, add that oil to our supply, to our in, income. We should have a bunch of supplies here now, and we do. These guys should be unloading. They're going to start unloading. These guys are checking for, for mines. These guys are unloading as well. Got some mines up here, so I may need to send the minesweepers up there to sweep them. Let's see. Spotted. Not really spotted. Not spotted at all. Not spotted. All right, we got some enemy C certain units here. Looks like some babes and little, little guys. We might try to take care of them th this turn. In Borneo, not much is going on. I need to clean up Java before I can start taking those the oil bases in Borneo. Philippines, you know the story there. Not much is going on there. Down in he the DEI area, we got everything pretty much. We should take Lat Lat Latem this turn. And then the only thing left here will be Kopang. And then this is all pretty much ours. He has Makassar, then he has Java, and then that's it. In 
New Guinea, New Britain, and the Solomons. We're moving along nicely here. Just eat the, taking everything around. Wow, we are sitting right on top some subs. And we did not unload shit here. What the hell? He's unloading supplies, but not the, not any men. Should have unloaded the... Oh, no. Okay, no. there. Okay, he did, but that's, that's weird. When I came in through this one, see how it doesn't show anyone else there? But if I come in through the normal view, it does show we've unloaded a nice chunk of, of, that, of that unit. All right, which means we could... Well, there's no airfield here, but we can definitely fix that. Get at least a level one built. And then we can bring in recon, nav search, and or uh, fighters if we want. Let's see. Not much else going on around here. Finishing, unloading all the supplies in, in the Marianas. All right, checking our picket ships. We got a thunderstorm, light cloud, heavy cloud, extreme overcast, and partial cloud. All right. Oil and resource convoys, resource convoys. I don't think we have any troops loaded up here, but it's about time to start loading more because we, we got a handful that are sitting here. We got some more base units. And we got some construction battalions. We need to get those out to the front and start, start building up our bases. And in China. Pokemon forces are still here. He shows no sign of chasing us. Everything else looks pretty static here. I don't understand why we didn't do more damage here. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good uh, leader. I don't know. I don't understand why we we're not just kicking the shit out of, out of, out of these Chinese troops. But, that's what it is, I guess. Just pure bulk. Because it got, I guess by, if you go by pure bulk, they got about... Four, five hundred A A A V of bulk, even though they only have like like sixty A V of actual fighters. The rest are all gonna be secondary troops and or uh, wounded. But oh well, we will grind them down. If you enjoyed watching the turn unfold with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following along in this campaign or my one against logic and you have not subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscription button. I would appreciate it. And until the next turn, you guys all have a great day and we'll see you later.